Hi there and welcome back to our World Tour Wednesdays and this is what we would probably refer to as our first recap Wednesday where rather than moving on to a new country we're going back over a, a few countries that we've been to before because we kind of skipped a few things that we wanted to cover and there's a few artists we want to follow up on and one of the main ones is Dreamcatcher. Um, Dreamcatcher have been, uh, they were on our first World Tour Wednesday with South Korea. They've been a really interesting one. We've covered a couple of their songs since and they've been quite a rewarding listen. Uh, K-pop uh, girl band. Um, one of the less budgeted ones, still obviously more budget than like an indie band or something, but they're, they're not like one of the big sort of black, pink, twice type ones. They seem to have a loyal following, they seem to have a different approach to the music, they infuse a lot of rock into there, and their videos seem to have this really cheesy, self-aware, fun element to them. They, they have artistic quality, but they're not, you know, not piling it on too thick, expecting you to take them in an excessively serious way. They've basically been quite enjoyable, actually. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to seeing this next one. Um, I've got a couple of Dreamcatcher songs I want to listen to, but obviously we listen to them in a good sort of pacing. And this one is called Chase Me. Now, it's one of the videos that is part of an overall arching plotline. Uh, we've watched two videos from this plotline before. We are watching them in the wrong order because I didn't know that at the time. Uh, so apologies if you don't know. And if you do know, you, you already know and whatever. Join us with Chase Me. And... <coughs> Okay, that was like, you know what kind of music that sounded like. Oh, it's this dude again. What's the significance of 808? Oh, there's someone down the hall. Isn't that the wrong way round? In ghost movies, you see them on the camera, but you don't see them in real life. It's like he sees her. Oh, I don't want to look at you. Here's a camera. The writing on this is actually very Japanese style, um, but the uh, it's, it's got that sort of Korean style of production. There's a, there's a lot of things fused in this, as far as like Asian pop's concerned. Love the production on that beat. Nice jangly and frumpy at the same time. Pedantic ghost. The video direction is actually really nice. Um, I know it's supposed to have a story, I don't think the story's really coming across in any obvious way, but um, the imagery is really good and it's, it's moving along well enough to be a sort of good kinetic music video, and at the same time, it's got enough imagery to be interesting and grabbing. Alright, 30 seconds left, there's going to be some sort of... Yeah, they, they always put a thing afterwards, don't they? 
Oh, this is them before they were horribly killed. Dun 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 dun. I gotta admit, credit to him. He, he's he's doing a great job acting the um, acting the the, the the lead like guy part in this. Um, we're the only guy part in this. Um, <laughs> just, uh, he's, he's really done a fantastic job that must be such an interesting part to play and it must be a lot of fun I mean I know it's mainly overacting but what a giggle to do that it must have been a really good fun video to make as well an interestingly small number of sets again they seem to have done this on quite a limited budget you know for a, for a, a big K-pop band and K-pop music videos are usually quite expensive but they've done a really good job of making it just kind of work, you know. Uh, like I so said, video direction, I'll just quickly cover the video first of all, and I thought the video direction was really nicely done. Um, the, the narrative was sporadic enough that you kind of got the feeling that it, I know people have said these videos are about a narrative, but I kind of felt that it was more about the, just the good use of imagery and, you know, generating a really sort of effective mood rather than necessarily pushing too much of a storyline. Although I'm willing to accept if anyone does believe that the storyline is, uh, there's a coherent storyline, maybe you can explain it to me. I, I don't mind either way. I think it works without having to know the storyline in that sense as well. Um, the imagery was really cool, there was a really sort of nice uh, ability to put like these sort of little jarring creepy images in but not in a way that stopped the video and actually a lot of the sort of flashings sort or of horror images and things were done in a kinetic way that helped move the song a lot, you know, move the video along with the song. Now as far as the song is concerned itself, um, it, okay it might not be my favourite song by them but I think this is a real grower, this is one of the ones where the more you listen to it the better it's going to get. First time I heard that chorus I wasn't incredibly uh, mad about it, especially the way it was kind of ended. It kind of went in a little bit of a bizarre direction but every time I heard it it grew it uh, significantly more to the point where now I actually think it's quite a good chorus after hearing it three times so maybe after I've heard the song all the way through three times nine choruses three times three song math um, probably by that point I will be much 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 more likely to you know really be uh, into it um, it does, like I say, though, fuse together the qualities of Korean and Japanese music. Um, now, I've always said the interesting thing about the Koreans is the Koreans and their music scene, they're probably like really leading the world in production. Like, song production, it's amazing, the detail. If you listen to like some K-pop songs, no, not all of them, some of them are just bland, but I mean, <laughs> isn't that the case of every pop industry? But some of them are so detailed. It's just beautiful, it's fantastic. Um, whereas the Japanese music industry, I've always believed that the Japanese have been the just like the quintessential songwriting nation. I know we might not necessarily think of them as that, but you listen to the sort of quality of the writing in Japanese pop music even. The the detail, I mean, the, the like the constant chord progressions and things that some of the songs have. Not all of them, once again, but some of them are just, you know, they're really at the pinnacle of what, you know, pop and rock writing can be. In, you know, I think it comes from Japan. And it's had an interesting uh, comparison because in the verses of this song, it was kind of like a yeah, Korean style thing and that the production was really sharp. You know, like I said, the drum sound was brilliant. I loved the way the drums were not just produced, but mixed, you know, had punch, but it also had the jangly bits on the like overheads, the cymbals and things at the right times as well. It was equally sort of rhythmic and interesting and punchy and in a really clever way. So I, I love that. I love the way the production was done. But when the chorus came in, it was one of those Japanese style choruses where maybe they don't always hit you brilliantly the first time because there's so much going on, so much progression, so much chord movement. But once you get used to it and you start hearing it, it becomes really catchy because it's so involving. It goes through such a journey where, where, as opposed to so many of the more common choruses, which is like maybe three or four chords, like da 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 and then insert whatever melody fits that on top, of which there will be billions within the necessary key scale. Um, yeah, I, I think this this wonderfully played at doing two very different things and gelling them together in a way that worked. And yeah, again, like I said about uh, Dreamcatcher before, I just kind of get the feeling this is a group where and it's like an artist, I know they're going to have their writers and everything, but as a general, the whole way this artist is being presented and produced, you get the feeling that they don't just want to be another cat. Oh, my memory card filled up, which, um, brilliant. Uh, so let me just complete it here. So just to finish what I was saying about this, um, like I said, I don't think they just want to be another K-pop band. I think they want to do something a little bit more interesting, a little bit more different, and there's not as any detriment to K-pop itself, but like all pop industries, like all pop scenes, it has its limitations, it has its style and its tropes that they have to stick to if they want to be, uh, if you like, a quintessential uh, act at the top of that scene. You kind of have to represent that scene. And, you know, a, a lot of K-pop groups try to do a similar thing, and in a way, some K-pop really lampoons like a sort of stereotype of American pop, and 
there can be points where uh, uh, you know K-pop can kind of lose its individuality, um, and so these sorts of groups who really represent, if you like, more of the creative values, they're one for. I don't care if this is the most popular group or not. I think they stand up for a positive thing within the sort of uh, pop movement as a general, and. I like that this had individuality. I like that they're trying to do this uh, three or four part like music video storyline, even if it comes across as a bit of an incoherent mess. Um, I like the fact that their videos are you know you know playing around with weird horror tropes and they're throwing like rock elements into their songs and they're doing writing techniques that maybe don't always deliver the ultimate catchy chorus, but instead deliver more of a a course that you can that can grow on you. It just seems to me like this is the product of people who actually care about what they're making, rather than uh, music by committee. Um, I guess you could say. I mean, I, I, by the way, before I say this, I know there's some Blackpink fans who are also Dreamcatcher fans. Uh, you may recognise, and I'm willing to take suggestions on Blackpink, but basically, from what I've heard of Blackpink, I don't like them. Uh, just kind of not my thing. I find it kind of derivative and boring for the best part. I would say. Black Pink, that sort of sound, to me that is the uh, Michael Bay Transformers movie of the K-pop world. It's it's by committee. It's designed to, all right, people like this, people like that, give them that. Is it good? Just give them it. They'll, they'll buy it. Oh, they bought it. Good, let's make some more. Um, I would say that uh, Dreamcatcher is probably more of your, um, it's like, more like Get Out. It's, it's it's a movie that yes okay obviously it's designed to appeal to people it's designed to sort of have things that people like but there's a creative heart to it someone's trying to do something interesting and different so I guess that's the best comparison I can give is um, Dreamcatcher is Get Out and Blackpink is a Transformers movie does that make sense if it does then I've achieved something amazing there if not at least I tried and that's what's important so thank you so much for tuning in as always like I say um, we most of this channel is about Japanese music we have a world tour Wednesdays where we're traveling around all different countries reviewing their music and getting an idea and a feel for what we can in a little one day segment every Wednesday but that's not to say we won't go back to things and obviously this is now the third I think this is yeah this is the third Dreamcatcher song we've done and we've been yeah, recapping a lot of things from uh, previous countries and we'll probably do these recap Wednesdays occasionally just to make sure that we don't miss anything that's been suggested overly but as always thank you so much I've actually got another dream capture song I want to do so it'll probably come up next week until then though thank you so much for tuning in feel free to enjoy the rest of our channel comment, subscribe, like, dislike if you want to but as I always say if you dislike you have to leave me a comment and tell me why so we can discuss it because that's what music is all about it's opinions no one's right, no one's wrong but you're more than welcome to present your opinion wholeheartedly so for now, from Japan, where we are ciao ciao